Today I'm planning on uh, starting to build a duck house so I can get these ducks moved out of the uh, chicken pen and moved out to the pond. So out here in the old bank barn, we got the uh, we got all the material all stacked up here that we had left over from building our house. Uh, kind of this is kind of like my little boneyard area, really. This is where all the extra material goes from projects. I've got a lot of different things in here. I even got a piece of a bowling alley back there. I've got a bunch of barn wood that I've saved from tearing down barns. Uh, we just got uh, a mess of stuff in this barn. So this is what we're going to try to utilize to make our our duck house. So this pile right here is treated lumber. We're going to find some treated lumber to use along the ground uh, for the duck house. Anything that's going to come in contact with the ground. And then we're going to probably use regular 2x6 lumber, probably cut that down to 2x3 lumber or something and make that uh, the frame of the duck house. Galvanized metal for the roof. I've got a little bit of uh, wire, cage wire left over from making the rabbit hutch that I'll probably put on it as well. And then I've got some tongue and groove wood, uh, pine wood from the house that I'll probably use on the ends of the duck house and be able to make the doors and everything to uh, access it. So pretty much all going to be made out of stuff that I actually have on hand right now. I'll have to probably get more hinges and latches and stuff like that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start gathering up material. And uh, basically I got an idea in my head what I want to do for the, for the duck house, but uh, I think that the material I have is going to kind of determine the design. So see what we can gather up and uh, start building. got the rough framing for the the duck house made out you can see we're doing an a-frame duck house basically it is a, an equilateral triangle here so we got four foot so four foot is the length of each side of the roof and it's four foot at the bottom for the width so we made a roof rafters they're out of two by threes which we cut out of two by sixes so we took some two by sixes we basically split them down the middle to make some two by threes um, this is a 60, de 60 degree angle cut here at the top on each one of these two by threes and that's a 30 degree cut down here at the bottom. And then we're sitting on some two by six treated lumber for the runners that go all the way down. So that's what's gonna come in contact with the ground should be the treated boards at the bottom. It's a total of eight foot long. Uh, the back half will be the dry half. So we're gonna roof it all the way down to the bottom on each side. We'll put a solid wall here on the back with an access door and then we'll be able to open that up. We're going to have food in the back side where it'll stay dry. And then on the front side, we're going to put cage wire around two feet around the bottom and the whole back end of it. Um, and then we're going to put roofing just about halfway down as well so that, uh, so that there's a little bit of a breeze on this side of the coop. We're going to end up putting another door on this end and that'll be the door that we let the uh, ducks in and out of the duck house. That's kind of the rough idea for the duck house. So I need to go ahead and build my end walls, um, get them made up, and then it's just gonna be some wire and some roofing and we should be pretty much done.
So yesterday we got one side of the duck house uh, pretty much wrapped up. My wife came out. She ended up helping me here at the end of the day yesterday. And um, you can see that it's fully roofed along the back of the duck house. And then the front of the duck house is only roofed halfway down. And we got our cage wire at the bottom to help uh, help a breeze go through there, keep the ducks cool. We've got our the ends of the duck house, we got them pretty much uh, made out. We got just some tongue and groove pine here on the ends. We still got our doors to make. And then the other side we haven't done yet, and you can see how we have that framed out. So you can see we've added some runner boards across to be able to uh, screw the roofing to and to be able to staple down the cage wire. So today I'm planning on getting the rest of the roof panels in on this side and then I've got two doors to make and then I'm going to have to bend some metal or come up with something to put along the ridge of the roof. And then we should be pretty much, we should be pretty much done and, and ready to move this out, uh, out by the pond. We've got the duck house complete and we've got it relocated out here next to the pond and uh, you can see on the end of the duck house we've got the uh, we've got our door on there we've got a latch we also ended up adding a handle to each end so the duck house itself is not incredibly light but uh, as long as somebody grabs it on each end two people one on each end uh, you can move this around pretty easily and uh, position it where you want to so we, we just basically picked it up put it on a trailer and brought it out here so on this side of the duck house you can see that the uh, the door on this side is just a screen door we got the same latch on this end and I think it it turned out pretty good I think this uh, could double as a, a chicken coop pretty easy if we wanted to repurpose it later so I think that uh, this could be a pretty versatile little structure so what we want to do now is we just want to get the ducks moved out here so we're, what we have is we've got some fence that we're going to put up around this duck house and we're going to enclose this all in in a, in a temporary fence and put the ducks in it and let them get used to this new uh, area as their home. We'll probably leave them in there for a few days to let them get used to where the food and water and everything is. And then after that we'll probably start letting them out and we'll let them get out to the pond and just kind of free range. And hopefully uh, if everything works out good uh, the ducks will come back to the house in the evening and hopefully we can get them in there and lock them up at night. So we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But for right now we got a temporary fence that we want to set up and get the ducks moved out here.
like three minutes. You dirty that thing all up. Well, we got the ducks all moved into their new home. So we're gonna leave them in here for a few days to get used to the new place. Then we'll end up letting them out. And then they'll have the whole pond to be able to play in. So this ought to be a pretty good place for the ducks. And hopefully there'll be good entertainment to watch from the house. Thanks for watching.